from all work on the spirit. And I think the spirit is like the temple. So for me, Wilshire Avenue Church was a good, a, a, a good base for me. And uh, they didn't really know I was homeless. So once they did find out, I was able to get some help uh, financial wise um, and some other things. But most of all, I think I needed love and I needed to, uh, to work on my spirit, but that's what worked for me. There will always be a certain number that will need to fall into the safety net that we need to provide properly for those individuals. However, I do believe teaching all these individuals how to provide for themselves and giving them a hand up is really the ultimate solution. Uh, so my preference really is that it stay in the domain of individual action, individual contributions and efforts, and a caring response from the grassroots up. You know, we need people around here to give a shit. That's what we need. You know, let's just face it. If everybody in this city, we have about 140,000 people, gave a shit, we still have a couple homes coming here. But that would be it. Just have a couple homes. I think the problem can be solved by if we have one-on-one -on -one contact. I mean, it's so easy to do a, a marathon or a walk for a cause, and it's so easy to give money to an organization that that um, helps the homeless or feeds the homeless or gives you know gives them shelter and blankets and um, food. I mean, those are all great things, but really, of those people, who's really going to take one of them into their home? and actually help them get a job, help them learn how to take care of themselves. If they have mental illness, help them with uh, therapy and med medication and whatnot. We got a problem, and we need to get the problem set. City manager, do your job, let's get the problem, let's be a team and not be a It's a tragedy, but I think we can solve it. We need to work together. And I think that means that we'll get a shelter. Uh, recently, we turned down a site that I thought was a very poor choice, but I'm already working on finding alternatives to that. The goal is, by end of the year, to get a shelter with transitional living ability in the, in the facility. So we want to take people and those that we can and transition them into a better life so they can get out of the homeless syndrome. The way to cure homelessness is to provide shelter for couples, husbands, wives, boyfriend, girlfriend, their animals, you know what I mean? Right now there are no resources for that. We use a shelter. Um, it would be really cool to see companies and businesses work with the uh, shelter to maybe do some hiring. You know, and to, to, I think when people have a, a job or you know some sort of income, it really does raise their, their self-esteem. I think a lot of people are broken, just you know, self-esteem wise, and it's, it's hard to see a, it's such a wonderful community get mired down by such a, a problem like this. I know that at night it gets kind of chaotic, and uh, in a college town it'd be nice to have some place where they wouldn't have to be part of that scene. So if there was a shelter or some place. I know there's a lot of places already out there for food, and uh, a lot of churches donate to their cause, but if we had a specific area that they could stay at night, it was monitored uh, to keep them out of trouble, and to keep trouble away from them, I think it would help the community out a lot. I mean, it's like, if I didn't get a paycheck for a month, I could very well be here too. And so, but you know, with a little bit of help, I could get back on my feet, and that's the way I feel about, you know, 50% of the people that come here, they just need a little extra help. And some people don't know what's out there available, as I don't really either. And so the more resources we can find and offer, I think the, the better off we be. There's a lot of divisions. People who are maybe because of their politics, because of their background, just have wildly different views or ideas about homelessness. But I think we need to first recognize that there is a problem, there is a need, 
And second, we need a spirit of cooperation, which would allow people from different backgrounds to come together and really work toward a solution instead of uh, kind of. Uh, I mean, we can argue, but it seems like so far it's been just a, a one big argument with very little uh, concrete results. So we need a spirit of humble cooperation. So please don't pin that all on me I've got a rock You've got a conscience So take some response